Hello everyone, welcome back to another MTG Arena decklist video. Today we're taking a look at a best of one standard mono black zombie deck I'm calling Zombardment. Turns out there's enough decent zombie shenanigans in standard right now to actually make a viable pile of cards. And I'm not gonna lie, I've had more fun with this deck than any other since Zendikar released. And I'm not just saying that because there are only two Zendikar cards in the list. Just playing guys, I love Zendikar. At its core, it is a zombie deck, but maybe in a looser sense than the traditional kind, since of the 22 creature cards in the deck, only 7 of them are zombies, per se. Now, don't let the smallish number of zombies fool you. The deck is perfectly capable of flooding the board with a decent horde of zombros. It does so on the regular. Now, you may have already guessed, but the way this particular brand of zombie deck works is by having 4 copies each of Ephemia the Cacophony, Timoret Calls the Dead. If you're familiar at all with these cards, then you already know their zombie spawning potential. Another inclusion in the deck that you might not have considered, though, is Liliana's Devotee. Devotee? I don't know. Whatever, however you pronounce him. This tattooed, bald-chested badass not only pumps the offense of all our zombies on board, but can make new ones when other stuff dies. Now, because Ephemia and Timurek Calls the Dead are so enchantment-hungry, we're running the Hateful Eidolon card draw and removal package, which is this column right here. We have three copies of Deadweight, four copies of Meyer's Grasp, and those cards help ensure we get the sweet value we crave from Hateful Eidolon. Killing creatures, drawing cards. Mmm. Delicious. Now, Mogus's favor is a nice recurrable enchantment that can take out weenies, but can also be used to pump an Eidolon to make his lifelink ability more valuable. Now, that will make him easier to kill, but because of his ability, you'll still be able to draw a card upon death. Here we have the engines that make the deck tick. Femia and Timurek Calls the Dead. Femia is capable of generating an easy zombie each turn if left unchecked, and Timurek Calls the Dead helps keep the yard full while essentially doing the same thing. Now, both cards require you to feed them stuff from the graveyard, but the deck is so jam-packed with enchantments, uh, 23 to be exact, that it's pretty easy to always have zombies on tap. Moving on to the more traditional zombie stuff, we have four copies of Meyer Triton, who slots into this deck beautifully. Uh, he himself is a zombie, mills stuff into our yard for Ephemia and Timurat, nets you two points of life gain, and if all that wasn't enough, also has Death Touch. Just obscene value on this bad boy, and our deck is happy to have him. Now, we discussed Liliana's devotee a little earlier, but it bears repeating how good his inclusion is in the deck, despite him not being a zombie or an enchantment. Um, his ability to make new zombies when stuff dies makes it easier for you to launch an all-out, no-regret style attack, since you can restock a critter at the cost of two mana. The pump ability can make for a nice surprise sucker punch too if you have a decent zombie presence on board. Let's see, Murderous Rider, probably the best removal spell in the game who also happens to be a zombie. Never mind the fact he's probably the only one. But his inclusion gives us an answer to most creatures and planeswalkers in the format. And can he can answer them at instant speed. With so much stuff piling into the graveyard, it's nice to have a few recursion cards in the deck. Um, we have a single copy of Call the Death Dweller, single copy of Lurus, and two copies of Agadim's Awakening, which can be played as a land when we need it. Um, Lurus is a sp no, there he is. <laughs> Lurus is especially great for using uh, Myers Grasp or Deadweight over and over and over and over. It's it's awesome. Finally, we have a few one-ofs that offer some extra utility to the deck. Timurat Chosen from Death is a nice body that serves us, uh, excuse me, that serves as some graveyard hate, while also being an enchantment. And Demonic Embrace can help us catapult a creature over the opponent's defenses, in addition to beefing it up. Um, it can also be conjured from the graveyard, in the very likely event that we mill it over with our own cards. And Ayara... Well, she's here because she's fun. She's a fun card to have on board when we're popping zombies out left and right, but consider her a flex slot. She does well in this deck for those times she actually sticks around, as she tends to be a magnet for removal. But if you want the deck to be a little more competitive, you could probably swap her out for a second copy of Loris. Then finally, the mana base. 
everything you'd expect from a mono black deck. 17 swamps and the full complement of castle locked lanes. All right, that does it for the rundown. And please, if it's not too much to ask, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you could. Uh, those two things help the channel tremendously, and they are always appreciated. Now, enough with the begging. Let's go play some games. All right, my favorite thing going first. This is a pretty rad hand. Let's keep it. So there's a little bit of risk in running out the Eidolon. But because it's a Myers Grasp and not a, a dead weight, we have to do it. Stay on curve. If it was a dead weight, I would keep the Eidolon and see what they do. Oh, that was silly. I guess I should have ran out Agadine's under crypt, but whatever. So white green. What is that? I have never seen this. Okay, Kazandu Nectar Pot. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. It's a beautiful card. And surprisingly hard to deal with, but we do have Myers Grasp. And we shall use it. More enchantment removal for our Eidolon. Hmm. Oh, this is beautiful. Fearless Fledgling. That looks like a good target for our other Myers Grasp. Fable Passage, not going to be enough to save it. Almost. But not quite. So yeah, we kind of got to do this now before it gets out of hand. Otherwise I would have... Oh, nice. Totally played something else. Let's run out of Femia. Because we do have stuff in the graveyard that can be converted to zombies. With Timoret, Calls the Dead, and Liliana's Devotee waiting in the wings. I have a lot of fun playing this deck. It's not like the most competitive thing, but it certainly is a lot of fun. On and on some kind of weird landfall deck. Is this thing going to get too big to deal with? We 4 3 trample. So it's not actually. We can lure us. Myers Grasp. Kind of a gross thing to do, but. We want to win. Darn it. Alright, no more Myers Grasp, though. Might have been actually prudent to not do that. And just left the Myers Grasp in the graveyard for Loris. But whatever, man. We're going full bore. Four to the floor. Zombie Nation. All kinds of wacky landfall stuff. I feel kind of, kind of bad, like... Might be beating up on a starter deck or something. Because a lot of these cards I've not seen. Whenever land enters a battle, it's just, uh, okay, it's just like everything else. They get bigger with lands. We've got nothing in the graveyard currently. So let's do Timurite Calls of Dead. Hopefully we mill over a creature and an enchantment. Any combination of. That works. Alright, Timura can do creatures, but Ephemia can only do enchantments, so we take out the Mar Triton to make a zombie. And, yeah, we're going to be super nasty. We're going to drop Lelia's Devote. Make our zombies big. At this point, I'm okay offering a trade on Loris. And I'm going to go ahead and swing with this, assuming they just don't want to block it. Get that extra point of damage. Okay. So they did take out the... That's okay. Loris has outlived his usefulness for us now. We want zombies. Can't pay for the zombie. We can make one with a Femia. And I don't see what the opponent can do to save their butts except for Shatter the Sky here. And this doesn't strike me as a Shatter the Sky kind of deck. 
Lens face explodes and we take it. Always a good thing. All right, on the draw. Hands dope as heck. If we went first, that would be even better, but it can't always be like that. Some days it can't ever be like that. You know what I'm talking about. Ooh, fervent champion. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to wait. I want to get the Eidolon and the dead weight down all in the same turn. Ooh, taking my Mogus. You take my Mogus, I take your robber. And draw a card while doing it. Mm. Would you look at that? What did they steal? My my devotee? Oh, there's a lot of things I could let slide, but not that. Not that. Shock? Please, no shock. No shock. All right. They might be holding it. Pop that junk in response, but we got to do this. This guy has got to go. Beautiful. Uh, wow, do we dare do it? What if they're holding, like, what is it? It's that Rimrock Knight? Yeah. We just hang back. I'm fine with that. All right, what's the play? They're tapped out, so Ephemia can definitely do her thing. Would we rather Timurat, though? I think so. Okay, we can get rid of... Deadweight. Focus Favor can take out Fervent Champion if we're allowed to do it. Opponent reluctant to attack for some reason. Okay. All right, it's all coming together now. So let's do this. I have a feeling we're going to see an Embercleave, but not much we can do. If they don't get that extra land, then it doesn't matter. Oh, just going to be a robber. And a Hellhound. It's quite the hand dump. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, we got to do this, right? It's okay. We ain't got no love for zombies. Don't need another land. What can we call the death dwell? Nothing exciting. So. So we have six mana available to us. I am down for... doing that just to get our life total back up hmm I guess we can run out the devotee might as well right oh my Luris really Gross. Aquam Hellhound, that 
just screams Embercleave, doesn't it? Well, gotta do it. Probably gonna save the robber. Or just go for maximum damage with the Bone Crusher Giant. Hmm. Still nothing in the graveyard for us to call of the death dwell. Hmm, what are they, exile of ours? Can't remember. There was like a Loris and something else. Whatever. Uh, I think we just go by sky here. Um, try some shenanigans here. <laughs> Why? No. That didn't work at all the way I expected it to. I meant to keep the one that block that could block. Can we stop this robber? Um, possibly. Do we want to? I don't think so. I want all my guys available for offense. Okay, gonna get back their knight. Or their favor. Okay, that's fine. Another devotee. Hmm. We can get back a Femi if we so choose. I know I want to do this. This has got to happen. That's delicious. I think I'll just do that. And just run them all in. Yeah, I'm down. They have to block something. Not sure why I threw the I don't want in there. Wasn't thinking, I guess. Anyway, we get to make two zombies. Another Robert. Nope, gonna gain a lot of life there, buddy. So, four. What's this? Still not gonna work. It has to be, yeah, it has to be like that. Unfortunate but necessary. We want to do this. I think we can have more fun if we get Loris. Yeah. Okay. See, there was a comedy of errors on my part, but we still pulled it out. We still pulled it out. All right, we get to go first. I love that. It's always my favorite. And this isn't terrible either. So, because it's a Myers grass and not a dead weight, I do think we lead out with the Eidolon. Another one. That works out. Oh, I'm going to be super reluctant to play creatures now.
Oh, showing their blue and green. So let's see what happens if we just swing with these guys. They get in, drop a devotee, watch it get blasted away. Nope, it sticks. All right, opponent not work, not phased in the least. Dropping an omen. One top, one bottom. Okay, Bant. All right. Kind of like the idea of doing this. And swinging. All right. Another omen. Wouldn't be surprised to see a sweeper on this turn. Enigmatic Incarnation. Haven't seen this card in like ever. Okay. Oh. All right. So it's not as exciting with one Eidolon out of the picture, but we do this. All right, we just swing like so. We end the turn, make a zombie. Ooh, these are starting to feel like desperate moves. But Enigmatic Incarnation. Gonna do some wacky junk. Another one? Another one. Okay. Well, that's the end of the line for the card draw. But we can get rid of this. Is it lethal if I grab Mogi's favor? Let's see, we got five, six, seven. We have to try. I see some shenanigans, but... Got it. All right. That's how we do. Fast and furious. All right. We get to go first. One land in hand, one pseudo land. Yeah, this is good. Daddy likes. Up against Giant Badger. Yeah, I think we go ahead and lead out with a Swamp. Drop the Eidolon. We can opt to shock in Agadim's Awakening as a land. Or whatever you call it, the Undercrypt. If they play something killable, which they didn't. We could have dropped an Eidolon into a Mogis. I do like the idea of Mogis. Ooh, another Ephemia. So, what's the play here? Let's go ahead and shock this in. We're going to pump up the Eidolon. Go get our life back. Drop another one. We kind of hope they kill something. I mean, it would be great if they didn't. But if they did, Ephemia would be able to spit out a zombie. I was going to say Swamp would be pretty much perfect for us. Let's swing first. Okay, that was pretty quick. Let's see what happens if we play a Timurite Calls of the Dead. It gets in. Roll over some stuff. We will transform that Myers Grasp into a zombie. Waiting to see some action from the opponent. I believe we got... Come on, the graveyard down for Ephemia. <laughs> we can feed Ephemia to Ephemia. However, I do get scared of a uh, Shatter the Sky. Still, regardless, I think dropping one Ephemia couldn't hurt. Selfless Savior. Okay. 
They've been slow rolling their selfless saviors here. <laughs> All right, milling over stuff. Yeah, we can kiss that. Why is Nebraska by? And we are just going to swing with everything. Swing with everything. I'm oh, doing some chumps. Got to keep one of their selfless saviors around. That's understandable. We get to draw two cards off that. Which was our plan all along. So is it more... What's wiser here? Call the Death Dwellers. I think the wise play, so we'll do that. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the wise. We have to get rid of our Mogis now for a zombie. That's okay, we'll do that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, the sky would make us cry. But it would not be the end of the world for us. Fay of Wishes. What are they looking for? What are they going to get? Shatter the sky. <laughs> That's alright, we have one more turn to do fun things. Alright, how does this look? Kinda like... What's our life total? It's pretty high, isn't it? 31? Alright, let's do it like this. I would like to get the castle locked, Wayne. Start using that. We know we're about to get hit with a Shatter of the Sky. So I think we hold Tim Rett Calls the Dead till after that pops. In the meantime, just swing with everything. All right, pass. Now nah, we'll decline. There it is. Goodbye, creatures. Hopefully they don't have another one. Because we can start rebuilding our zombie army pretty quickly here. And Murder's Rider can go. That's fine. And let's get rid of that Timurite Calls the Dead. There we go. If they sweep us again, we can sort of replicate the last turn. Assuming they're not also holding like an essence scatter or something. Fishing out something. Probably another shatter, isn't it? Did they put two in their wishboard? Do people do that? They do. Gross. All right, so presumably drop another Fey. Trying to think, any if they do drop the Fey, any kill spell, any any removal spell that we get would do it. They're holding something up. Interesting. Yeah, we might as well do something here, right? All right. Okay, they're gonna do something. They're gonna brazen borrow. Something's going to go down here. Yeah, they're going to do it to a token. Okay. That's fine. Maybe should have locked Wayne first in anticipation of that. Mm, nah, that wouldn't have done it. Okay. Do we want to do it? Yeah, let's go ahead. Whatever, man. It'll get swept away, but... just helps ensure that they have to play the Shatter. I mean, they'll do it anyway. Right? Going down to one life. 
Fey of Wishes on the board. You know what? I ain't above <laughs> doing this nonsense. Because I don't want them returning it to their hand. Not so easily. Killer on the board. That could be annoying. Oof. We can still ambush Ephemia with a brazen borrower, so we might not go in with that. Of course, they may be holding a counter. Nope. They wish is down. Okay, they have to chop. I'm fine with that. Okay, here comes the brazen bee. I'm assuming they don't have a sweeper if they're dropping their bee like that. Hmm. That's annoying. So if they have another little creature in hand, they could potentially put out a blocker for everything. Or another brazen borrower, or any kind of trick. Ah, oh, it's a Halloblade. No. Mm, that's all right. We'll figure something out. Let's see what we can draw. Ooh, Liliana's Devotee. Darn it, just one mana short of being able to make a zombie with it. But, yeah, we still play it. We keep up the pressure. See what happens if we swing with Murderous Rider and the two zombies. They can block everything. And only lose a selfless savior, right? But they would have to discard a card. And they would gain three life from Loris. I think we just wait. It's not ideal attacking. Next turn will be better for us, I have a feeling. Loris is annoying, though. I wish we could kill him. Like, any of our enchantment removal would do the trick. Dead weight, Meyer's grasp, Mogi's favor wouldn't. Selfless saviors all over the place. So they have. Oh, that stinks. Hmm, that's gonna make it harder for to kill them. Yeah. Yeah, we got to do this. We can't let that go. One selfless savior down. Ghostly pilfer. I don't even know what that thing does. It's just a wall of text. Mogi's favor. All right. Mogi's favor. Take care of season Howl blade, like nobody's business. So I think we start there. Okay. Then we do it again, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Ghostly Pelfer. Pelfrin. That's fine. And one more time, shall we? It's 
So is that enough damage? Three. I think so. I think so. I think we got him. All right. Nice. Opponent gets to go first. We have three lands effectively. I'm, I'm gonna keep it. Let's do it. Opponent on Golgari colors. You scavenging ooze. Um. Yeah, man, that thing's got to go. All right. So whatever we run out, very likely to eat some removal. Since we have two, two copies of Femia, let's do that. No removal. All right, means we get a zombie. Ooh, Pelucranos. So nasty. Let's look over what we got. We have four lands if we choose. Let's give this a shot. I'm really not sure what to do here. I'm just gonna run this guy out. The sequencing on that turn was bad. I mean, I could have ran out the devotee first and got that extra point of damage with the, the zombie. Uh, looking to maybe Blood Chief's Thirst. Is that what they got? Doing some mental calculus here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Polokrinus can hit me. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're sort of one mana short being able to do great things. I guess we do this. see a fight on our devotee which would stink but we do have call of the death dweller to get it back might just see some more traditional removal of course if they want to take a femi out they are more than welcome to works for me I'm hanging back yeah we can get rid of that rider all right, still only four mana. This so happens often when you're milling away a ton of cards. It can be hard to get that land drop. Let's see. I think the play here is to go Triton. Into a Femia. Don't really have good attacks right now. At best, we could hope to shrink Pelucranos. That might be worth it, though. Let's, we will lose a zombie. Potentially two zombies, but... Yeah, let's do this. Okay, we did get the three damage in. And I wish I had more mana. I'd make a zombie, but Ephemia will do it. Luke Grinnell's going to hit that Devote. That works. We can get it back. 
We won't be able to do much else, though. Okay, so we gain a boatload of life. What do we like? How about... Meyer Triton... And a Meyer's Grasp. Or not Meyer Triton, Hateful Eidolon. How badly do we want this land? Well, we have... Loris. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put the land up front. I mean, we kind of want all these cards, but I think this is the order to grab them in. All right. Let's Death Dweller Devote. Hmm, still can't pay for a zombie. That's okay. We get one this way. This deck is a lot of fun. Devote is a really good card in this deck. Hmm. Gem Razor, no mutate. All right, game for us. Fun stuff. Well, here we are at the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing those games. Been looking for a way to make a Femia good for quite some time, and I feel like I finally landed on it with this zombie deck. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you around on the next one. Thanks.